I'm sorry this audio is not going to be very loud. You'll have to turn it up. Just remember to turn it back down so you don't blast your eardrums on anything else. I'm going over the feedback on the following skills. First skill, zoom with the zoom tool around an area with the marquee selection. So if we want to just zoom on this necklace, we can click the zoom tool to make it active. Scrubby zoom is off and we just draw a little marquee selection by clicking, holding, and dragging. As soon as we release the mouse, there we go. It's right in front of us. Skill two, set my scroll wheel up to be able to zoom, which is very useful. Edit preferences general. Just make sure the check is in that box right there. Third, how to fit my document to the page with one double click. Just double click your hand tool. That is a fit to page. Use my hand tool to move the page around. Right now with fit to page, nothing will happen, but after we've zoomed in a little bit, then our hand tool kicks in to let us move our canvas around. Use the hand tool when I'm in the middle of a selection. So I'm trying to, let's say, select this head and the other head. So I need to move my canvas around. You need to hold the space bar and then click and hold and drag over. And now you can continue on with the next selection. Use the hand tool when I'm in the middle of the selection. Just did that. Return to a zoom level of 100%. Double click the zoom tool. And look here, we're at 100%. Use the keyboard shortcut to change to the zoom tool. I'm in the zoom tool now, so I'll switch and go back to the marquee tool. And then I will control D to deselect. And I, if I press the Z on your keyboard, that's the shortcut to your zoom tool. Select a perfectly round circular object on the canvas. We don't really have a perfectly circular object to, to select here, but we can make one by using our shift key to drag a selection out with the elliptical marquee tool. The shift key makes it perfectly circular, and then we'll take the paint can and fill that, and then I will zoom in, use my space bar to move over a little bit, and we want to select that, so I will deselect it. So to select a perfectly circular object, we can use the elliptical tool. There's a few different ways we can do this. I'll click it and start to select. And you can see that I'm not perfectly circular, and I want to be. I need to hold down my Shift key. Now I have a perfect circle. I may need to also use my space bar to move a little bit. I still have my Shift down, pulling out. Shift a space bar moving a little bit. And you would finesse that. But it's the shift key that puts the selection into a perfect circle. Add another selection of another circular second object to the existing selection. So in order to do this, you there's two methods. You need to either make sure that your Add to Selection button is on, because otherwise, if right now with this one selected, if I go and pull out a, a selection, I've lost my old one. So I will undo that, and I can add to the selection. And if this object is circular, again, I need my Shift key. And now I've added to the selection. I'll undo that. The second method is, if you didn't want to bother coming up here, just uh, use the Shift key to add to a selection. 
interesting because it's not constraining at this time. I don't know how you get a double shift key. Oh, that's how you get a double shift key. Release the shift key once and then press it down again and we have retained adding to the selection and now it's a perfect circle. Make a complex suit selection using various different selection strategies including subtracting some areas. Okay, I'm going to deselect and just fit to page and talk about selecting this suit. You have to do a number of different strategies. I'll, just, I'll start with the quick selection tool. I find zooming in is helpful and I find that going in pieces is very helpful because if I release my mouse now use my space bar, move up. You can see I haven't lost my selection and I am on add right now, add to selection. So I come down, just do this in pieces because that way I just clicked and I'm actually doing pretty well here but there will be a time when I don't get what it is I want. And when that happens, because I've been releasing and just doing it this in sections as I go, like right now, I've just got the hair, so I need to subtract the hair. So now I do need to know to come into uh, minus. But with this selection tool, it may not work. Use your bracket to, to make it a little smaller so that you can, oh, not bad. Okay, so I released and um, that isn't good. So I'm going to undo and actually step backward. S and this is a time when I really feel like I need to go in the polygonal uh, selection tool and subtract this hair area out and I'm not going to take the time to zoom in and do it very exactly but uh, you would for an assignment so I'm just going to get this crudely when you get back here and see the circle you click and now that has been taken out